Hey y'all, welcome back to Creating Hanley. I am the Hanley at Creating Hanley and it, this is part two of our seed organizing episodes. <laughs> part two in the final episode. Um, so what, uh, what we did in part one was I showed you the jumbled mess that was my seed pack organization or the lack of organization and I had them in this basket and I had them in a box just a cardboard box with some plastic bags and it was not very organized and it was just a mess so uh, very quickly within less than an hour I was able to organize everything so I took them all out of this basket and I took them out of that cardboard box and I put them into this little toolbox right here this box I found in my basement so I just had this in doing nothing just collecting dust um, now if you're a brand new gardener and you only have a few seed packs then you probably don't need that big old toolbox right there a um, couple of things you can do I found you know you can just take one of these and just put your seed packs let's let's take a few open this up you can just take your seed packs and put them directly in there close them up and that keeps them watertight now if you have a thing ab about plastic you can put them in a glass container or I happen to have just this cat food box that you can drop your seed packs in something just around the house so if you feel like you don't want to put um, your seed packs in plastic because it it may I don't know what it would do it wouldn't it would keep them airtight so I guess a couple of things with that one if there's any moisture in there at all they might sprout and they may get moldy um, or they would become unviable um, if you want your seeds to breathe you can put them in cardboard and just relabel the package um, and so, you know, just do use whatever you have around the house. If you only have a few seed packs, then do that. And then once you plant all the seeds that are in your seed pack, what I do, these are um, all the seeds that I have planted and the packets are now empty. I just keep them paper clipped together so I know what is planted. And then if you need the directions, you have them on the back so you know, oh, this lettuce uh, sprouts in 75 days or something along those lines you know you need to keep it in such and such a temperature plant this depth plant you know in May or June so um, you just want to keep like the information of the seeds that you planted even with flowers too you can do that with herbs you can do that with your veg you can do that with fruit all the seeds that you plant once you once you use all the seeds, you know, use up a package, just keep these. Um, some of them I did throw away. Some, or you can, uh, it's paper, so you can recycle it. And I don't know about this colored print, if you could put that in, in your compost pile. Or um, as other people around the world say, compost. You can put it in your compost pile or compost pile. Um, you know and it may disintegrate I'm not sure about the ink though so so those are two you know quick methods that you can use you don't have to purchase anything fancy you just have those around your house um, and then just make sure you label you label your your container correctly and then so so you have those in a safe safe place but what I did is I took this big old toolbox. So let's take a, a gander down here. So here's our top um, tray that comes out. Now what I did was I just put in my, um, you know, labels. So this one happens to be a flower. But if you have blank labels, keep a marker in there. And you can write on your blank label whatever it is. So if you planted onions, you know, you can write onions on your blank label and then put those in the ground. Extra seeds, I know these are marigolds, just throw that there. Here is liquid plant food. Here's a little measuring um, spoon. These I just kept for um, 
you know, like digging holes in soil to plant the seeds. And if you really wanted to get fancy, you can measure, you can put a little marks, marker, measure points along here, quarter inch, half inch, one inch depth. And then that's how, that's how far you know how to plant your seeds. Um, over here, I just put the seeds that I have currently in my garden. And then I just keep um, this little tag is one of the tools that I have. So I just keep that in here. And it's the tool is very old, but this is still brand new. And then I just have some twist ties here. You never know when you might need a twist tie. And then these are just uh, like tomato clips or plant clips that I keep right in this little package right here and you can organize that way now under here is the main part so when I lift this up look you guys look everything is nice and organized now so what I did was I organized this into flowers and fruit now some of you will say pumpkin is not a fruit or some of you will say pumpkin is a fruit um, and then veg so these are all veg and then leafy greens and then herbs so I put the tags behind all of the um, seeds because if I put them in front when I have it up here you you can't read your tag so I put it in the back so I know that all of my t all of my packets of seeds in front of the tag are what the tag says so back here, it's a leafy green. So all, all of these seed packets I know in front of my tag up to the herbs are leafy greens. Same with the veg. All of these are veg flowers. All of these are flowers up to the fruit, and then I have fruit. So in the veg, now um, it's up to you whether you want to make tomatoes <laughs> a fruit or a veg. So I made them a veg. You can make them a fruit. However you want to organize it in your brain is up to you. Um, but what I did, so for example, with these flowers, I took all the pollinator flower, or I'm sorry, all the perennial flowers. I put all the perennial flowers in the back and then all the annual flowers in the front. And then also what I did was I put them in alphabetical order. So I have Alyssum, Bachelor Buttons, Calendula, Cosmos, uh, Chrysanthemum, Forget-Me-Nots. Lavender is considered an herb or a flower. So I have four, <laughs> I actually have four packets of lavender. So I put two in the herbs and two in the flowers. Marigolds, Nasturtiums, N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z, right? So that's what I did. So perennials, the same thing. Wild flowers. So, boom. That's what I did for that. And the fruit, I have cantaloupe. I did put a pumpkin in with a fruit and a watermelon here. Now with the veg, um, <sighs> the veg. So there's a couple different ways that you can, you can. Um, alphabetize if you want to or kind of organize your vegetables you can do it by name if you want to you can do it by breed if you want to so um, you can get really specific and do it by your cultivar if you're super into that I am not I just put here's a cucumber and here's a cucumber and I put those two two together so you could do your special cultivars um, if they have the cultivar name on them on the package. Now this is cucumber lemon cucumber, and then this is bite alpha cucumber. So these are two different cucumbers, but both packages are open. So I don't. So it does to me. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna put it in with the C's. Now this cucumber is a. Um, sealed package so it tells me what it is this came from a, a seed um, exchange and so somebody harvested these from their garden 
So I'm just going to throw that in with the cucumber section also. So you can kind of see how that works. Um, tomatoes, again, if you wanted to put the tomatoes in with your fruit, you can do that. Uh, I just threw in the back. So, you know, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, G, K, blah, blah. There's the T's. Now, what I did here to kind of separate these sides was I had these bags, these little baggies of seeds. So they're long enough and they fit in here just exactly perfectly enough so that I just did this this way so that it would separate these columns or these rows. Um, same with this. I found this packet of seeds. I don't know if this is viable. I don't even know what these seeds are. It's just, it looks like squash or pumpkin or cucumber or something along those lines. This is probably um, pumpkin seeds, little baby pumpkin seeds, but I'm not even sure. So it's going to be a surprise if I decide to plant those one day. And look, here's a package of seeds too. This is spaghetti squash seeds. Again, I actually dated them and I did label them 2016. So I don't know, this is 2023. So that's, you know, kind of a long time ago. So we'll see even if those are viable. Um, and then I put all the peas over here and I put all the beans over here. So, so because these were bulky, it took up a lot of this space. I just put them off on the side and it, it, made the, you know, filled out the, this little toolbox perfectly, and it's exactly what I needed. So from A to Z, uh, front to back, just line up your, <laughs> your packets that way. Now you, you don't have to have this. I don't even know what size this is. This is, I'm not sponsored by this, this thing at all. It was just in my basement collecting spider webs. So, that is what I did, and now I can put this tray back in here, and everything fits in perfectly, like so. Close that up, and then this still works, and then there you go. Now, I may not keep this, like, super closed tight, because I think seeds need to breathe. I'm not sure. I don't know. But, anyway, if I just lock it like that, that's good enough. I can carry that around. Now, as far as this goes, this is old grass seed. I have a person who I'm going to give this to. Somebody's building a deck um, on their, you know, on their back porch, and they may need a little extra grass seed. So I'm just going to donate that to that person, and hopefully some of these grass seeds will take. If not, um, at least we tried, right? So there you go. There is, there are. Th there's three different ways that you can organize your um, your seeds. You can do your toolbox here. You can do just a cardboard box, whatever that you have at home, or you can do a glass container or a plastic one. So I guess that's four ways. Um, I've also heard that you can store them in CD cases um, or even like a CD case box. So however that works for you and then as far as the alliums go like I, I think I started to say like with the onions the onions the leeks the chives the shallots garlic um, you can separate those in alphabetical order or you can put them all under A for alliums and then you have you know your shallots your leeks your garlic all in in alphabetical order that way or at least you have your allium um, spot and then you can put all those in However it works in your brain, right? So so there you go. And that's what I did. Um, so I hope that helps some of you today. And have fun organizing your seed pack. And if you guys have any other tips, let me know what you do. And if you just use them all up as you go, <laughs> that's probably even better. All right, folks, you have a great day. Happy, beautiful, sunshiny day today. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.